as we see it now, uh, what 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 are the key features, the salient features when it comes to the Constitution? Yes, now Constitution Council, we say ten people should yeah. be there, and uh, Speaker is the chairman. Yeah. So most probably he will not take part in the, uh, the election. Of course, if there is a problem, yeah. then uh, finally he will take the decision. Anyhow, uh, ten people. Then uh, how are they uh, will be appointed? Yeah. So. Pr 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 uh, this uh, prime minister, speaker, and opposition leader; those are main uh, areas where it has been there earlier also. So thereafter, uh, a member from the parliament appointed by the president. Yeah, president. So president has the power. Yeah. So he doesn't have to ask anybody. He can appoint one person from the parliament. Yeah. So then there are five people again. Uh, to be appointed, yeah. then uh, out of those uh, five people, two are from the parliament. That is also uh, one person, one parliamentarian from the uh, government side yeah. and one per, uh, parliamentarian from the opposition side. Yeah. So those people will be selected by those uh, are in charge of the particular parties and thereafter uh, they will be there uh, to be nominated by the president. Yeah. So then, the other three, of course, are outsiders. Yeah. Where it is clearly stated, uh, the persons of eminence and integrity right. should be appointed uh, to these uh, three posts. Mm -hmm. So that is, of course, it a bit difficult thing. How are we? Go how are they going to appoint yeah. those people? Uh, earlier, we saw uh, most of the people appointed were from the uh, non governmental organization right. so NGOs yeah. so they, uh, we we are not satisfied with those uh, people and what they have done was uh, they have not uh, stated uh, what we expected yeah. so they, they did what they want but we saw the uh, repercussions of those uh, decisions anyhow how are we going to do is the issue as I said earlier uh, I think uh, the According to Samagri uh, Janabalaveke, they have considered uh, three people in this way. That is one person from the OPA, Professional Organization. They have been given one slot. This is the Organization of Professional Association. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. right. One, per, one slot is there. And then uh, Chamber of Commerce Chamber have been given one person. Uh, and then the uh, professors. Mm. Uh, university Academy. The UGC. So, that is so, one, UGC. Yeah. so the UGC have the power to appoint. So uh, my personal view is that is a good move where uh, they can come and do a good job for the betterment of this country. Uh, they are not parliamentarians and it is clearly stated those three people should not be a member of any par political party. Yeah. So they are independent. Yeah. Right. So then they, uh, the, the, it will be discussed in uh, Parliament as well. As I don't know whether in uh, the Supreme Court also uh, uh, the AG will give an undertaking to amend that in that way, or else they can go to uh, the committee stage and do the needful. Because uh, by appointing these people, it will be a problem. Yeah. And the final slot is also a problematic thing, where it is clearly stated, uh, without uh, the, the uh, government party and the opposition party, there are other uh, small groups, yeah. uh, they, they should be uh, considered yeah. when uh, the Constitution Council uh, is being appointed. Right. So that is why they have been given one slot uh, to be appointed. So right. how are we going to do that? So whether the parliament will take a lot of time to appoint this that particular person. So yeah, most of the small parties, they will claim that we should have that uh, slot to us and then there will be problem. It was there when, the, uh, as you said, during Mahindra Rajapaksa's time, it was there, uh, this particular problem was arose. And then uh, uh, Mahindra Rajapaksa clearly stated that I had a big problem with regard to this whole thing because they have not appointed the person for a long time. Yeah. They prolong it. So, because of that, no decision can be taken by the Constitutional Council. By, by the Constitutional Council, that is why he, he ignored that and proceed uh, with the uh, presidential powers. Right. So, th we must avoid that. With that experience, how are we going to solve that problem?